In this podcast, I'll be talking about what this podcast is all about and what's in it for you. Welcome to the Online Course Coach Podcast, brought to you by TrueFocusMedia.com. Whether you're a beginner or expert, this is the podcast for the latest in online course creation tips, news, interviews, and ideas. And here's your coach, Jeff Long. Welcome to the show. My name is Jeff Long, and I'm so excited to be starting this podcast. And in this first episode, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what this podcast is about. What's the purpose? Uh, Why am I starting it? And really, what do you gain from it? Because that's what I want to do is I want to give you great content. I want to help you along your journey as you're learning about creating your, maybe your first online course, or maybe making your existing online courses better. Or if you're, you know, in a company, how to utilize online courses, e-learning portals, or or anything like that. So that's really the purpose of this podcast. So here are a couple things we'll be talking about in the future and upcoming podcast is we'll be doing interviews. And this is really why, one of the reasons why I'm excited about this podcast, because I'm an inquisitive person. I also like to be motivated and I like to learn from other people. And I'm assuming you do as well. So I'll be finding just top people kind of at the top of their game doing innovative things with e-learning, online training, uh, course, uh, online course creation, etc. And this will range from, you know, people doing this uh, online only to large companies doing this to blended learning, even some universities. So uh, I have uh, 50 or 60 people already in the queue that I'm, I'm going to be bringing to you. But if you have people that, you know, you have found that, you know, or that you see online or in person, you know, send them my way. Let me know how they can provide value to this podcast, because I'm looking to, you know, have conversations with industry leaders uh, just to see what they're doing and and how they're doing it and to pass that along with you. Uh, I'll be talking about some hot topics, you know, what's going on in the industry, because you know, the whole industry, whether you call it, you know, online course creation or e-learning or online training or whatever, it's a pretty robust uh, uh, sector and it's only growing bigger. You know, as I'm recording these podcasts and, and getting all the prep work together, I'm just seeing this this whole, I don't know, sphere ex- exploding, you know, and we're going to have to find maybe a, a common term because there are so many different terms, whether it's e-learning, online courses, you have LMSs, you have CMSs, you have all these different things, a SCORM, you know, we'll be talking about all of this and how it applies to online courses. I'll also be giving you some tips, some tricks, and some things that I've, you know, found in my own business. As I work with clients and, and projects and online courses, I have learned a lot and I'll be passing those on to you. And then lastly, uh, I might even get into some tutorials, you know, giving you some some step by step walkthroughs of how to take your online courses to the next level. So every uh, every podcast will be slightly different. Some might be mainly interview driven. Some might be just myself talking about different hot topics or tips or or giving you tutorials. So that's a little bit of what to expect from the direction of the podcast. But let me talk about myself for a little bit, if I may, just to give my background so you know who I am, where I'm coming from, and and my experience. So my parents are both lifelong teachers and educators. They've worked in the, you know, they've both been teachers, educators their entire life, and it's been something I've respected my whole life. Uh, But I can remember growing up, you know, when I was a kid in school, I'll be honest, I didn't really like being in school. You know, I'd be sitting there learning or more often than not, goofing around thinking, man, my parents, you know, they, they must be a little crazy because they're teachers. So they're in school while school's in session. And then they come home and they're grading papers and they're thinking about classes and they're prepping for, for classes. And they're, you know, they're always thinking about teaching. You know, they never get a break. And, and you know, unfortunately, teachers aren't the best paid uh, profession here in the United States. And I, I think that should change, but that's just our reality. So as I'm growing up, I'm thinking, why would anyone be a teacher? You know, like that seems kind of like a bum deal. But the older I got, I found myself just naturally teaching and training. uh, And that led into my career. So it started in college. I took a lot of classes on teaching, 
on public speaking, on building curriculum. And so that background has helped me tremendously. And I'll share that more in the future, but that's kind of my, my education. Uh, once I graduated and got my degree, I actually had a job where I did some corporate training with one of the big box stores, uh, one of the big box home improvement stores. So you're probably thinking, you know, uh, there's probably two, maybe three uh, nationwide big box uh, stores like that. I was able to go nationwide, uh, also into Canada. I think I, I did a lot of the Canadian stores. I got to go to Hawaii, uh, Alaska, and everywhere in the U.S. It was a blast. And I did corporate training. I taught everybody from the store owner or the, the store manager all the way on down to the janitor. Everybody in the store, I did training. I did some computer setup and some consulting, and it was amazing. I did that for several years. I loved it. I love to travel. I love people. I love being in new places. You know, Some people get sick of the airports and, and the travel. That wasn't me. I loved it, and it was fantastic. So that prepared me uh, for corporate training and just what's all involved. Uh, and then uh, around that time is when I started a video production, web design, and e-learning company. Uh, the the backbone of that was video production. That was kind of our core uh, service that we provided. So that was uh, all the way back in 2003. And uh, yeah, we've worked with, with customers and, and clients, uh, including uh, Zig Ziglar and Dan Miller and uh, just some national companies as well as some small, you know, local companies on how to create online courses as well as courses that are internal, internally based. So I've had a blast. I've worked, uh, you know, nationwide. I've gotten to travel uh, through that. In fact, uh, as I record this next week, I'll, I'll be in Florida doing some video work, and I've I've gotten to go to Nashville quite a few times, get some do some video work with some uh, some awesome people as well as some other states uh, that I'll talk about later. So that's a little bit about my background is, you know, I love teaching and training, but I, I didn't think I wanted to be in a school, but yet I found myself teaching training uh, for our, our clients. And I created quite a few online courses throughout those years, even before, you know, a lot of people were doing this now. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of people doing this and I want to be the hub. I want to be the resource uh, to, to help you get your online courses either up or improved. And I was doing that years ago, even before, you know, a lot of people were doing that. And we've done a lot of, uh, you know, various e-learning projects for clients. Uh, I've created multiple online courses over the years. Um, and so that's a little bit about me. Now, as far as the guests, you know, I, I talked about this a little bit at the beginning. I, I want to bring on a lot of guests. And like I said, I have uh, 50, 60 plus uh, people kind of in the queue that I want to talk to. And the reason for that is I want those to be, you know, more conversational rather than just me kind of being an instructor and leading that in instruction time. Uh, I want to, I want to talk about stories uh, from various industries. So we'll be talking to people that um, are, are um, doing this for colleges and universities. We'll be talking to people that are, you know, small business owners and entrepreneurs that had an idea they had an expertise, they put an online course together, and they're helping a lot of people and making a decent income as well. And that excites me. Uh, in fact, I'm really excited to be doing this episode. I just got off the phone with one of our corporate clients, you know, and we're talking about how do we streamline their online training. They already have a system in place, uh, but the, the system they have is, um, is clunky, is not efficient, and so we might try to revamp their whole system do it uh, locally first, take it nationwide. And that really excites me because I'm a trainer at heart and I want to help people. I love helping, serving, uh, and, and assisting. And that helps me do that. So a couple things I need from you, you know, give me your feedback. What questions do you have about this whole online learning space, these online courses, these e-learning things, you know, that you might have heard about, uh, learning management systems, you know, what, what questions do you have and, and how can I help you? You know, so uh, shoot me an email, uh, jeff at truefocusmedia.com and let me know how I can help you. I'll have a, a different email set up here in the future, but that's where you can email me, you know, what questions do you have? What are you struggling with? And what are you looking to get out of this podcast? You know, it's my goal to have these podcasts come out 
on a weekly basis. And so that'll be my goal. But also let me know, hey, would you like more or less? You know, would you like uh, every two weeks uh, a new podcast? I'd love to hear your thoughts because I want this to be for you. Sure, I can talk all day long about this. I'm excited about it. I'm passionate about it. But what do you want to learn from this episode? And, you know, I really struggled with the name for this podcast because, you know, I wanted it to be about this whole e-learning, online course creation thing. And then, and then what am I? You know, am I a, a coach, a consultant, or, or you know, what, what is this podcast? So I came up with the Online Course Coach Podcast. It's, it is my goal to help you, to coach you, to help you in, improve your courses and to take them to the next level. So shoot me an email, let me know what questions you have, how I can help you, and what struggles you have. And we'll go through this together on the Online Course Coach Podcast.